Welcome everyone to our Easter special radio show. We are back and better than ever before. What are you eating? A pretzel. It's Easter. A pretzel? Just to let you know an interesting fact, pretzels are associated with Easter because the twists resemble arms crossing in prayer. Extraordinary! Right, to start our egg extravaganza of a show is our first special guest, Mrs Stubbs. Hello, thank you for having me. As Easter is around the corner, what does Easter mean to you? For me, Easter is all about family and a chance to get together, not only think about the resurrection, but also to have that fun of the Easter egg hunt. What is your favourite Easter memory? I think the most recent favourite memory is the one where we had an Easter egg hunt in the garden and we were racing around looking for the eggs and then shortly afterwards hit them all again and just kept that game going for hours with my grandchildren. It was a lot of fun. I've got a funny joke for you, Mr Stubbs. What do you call two rabbits racing down the road? I don't know. What do you call two rabbits racing down the road? The fast and furious. <laughs> Oh, very good. Thank you, Mrs. Stubbs, for being with us today. Have a lovely Easter. Here is May singing higher and higher, accompanied by Cheryl Lynn and Maria on backing vocals. Your love lifted me higher than I've ever been lifted before. So keep it up, quench my desire. That was an excellent performance. Get it? No, just no. Really? Well, I think my jokes are getting better. Nope. Also, in our studio today, we have the one and only Mr. Lawson. I have a question for you, Mr. Lawson. What do you think is the best part about an egg hunt? 
Now, an egg hunt. Hmm. Remembering what I used to do when I was on the egg hunt, I think it's the whole mystery of the chase to find the eggs rummaging around where these eggs are. It's always entertaining. What are you planning to do this Easter? This Easter, I shall be away from all arts and media school staff and students and be spending it in the Midlands with my family because that's originally where I'm from. So I will be there just enjoying the rest and the break and also the true meaning of Easter. What is your favourite meal to eat over Easter? My favourite meal? Now, it's changed because years ago, well, I'd say the last four years, I've turned into vegan stroke vegetarian. But before that, it will be waiting on my mother, seeing the spread, the Caribbean spread, because we're from the Caribbean, my mother is. And that's always a large feast. But now I'll have a small area on the table with all my vegetarian and vegan niceties. Thank you, Mr. Lawson. And have a good Easter. Well, thank you for inviting me today. You have a good Easter yourself. Here is Jamian singing Amazing Grace. Amazing Grace How sweet the sound the
Thank you, Jamyang. That was amazing. Another good egg who's also popping in today is Miss Lawton, one of the school governors. Welcome, Miss Lawton. It's lovely to have you in the studio today. Hi, it's great to be here. How do you celebrate Easter? Well, um, growing up, I didn't really celebrate it that much because we didn't grow up in a Christian family, so it wasn't a big deal. My parents, um, you know, we had we had the odd Easter egg, but it wasn't a huge thing. Um, and now I have a daughter who's four, and it's just the thing that she loves most in the year. So now we do actually make an effort and celebrate it, and she really looks forward to it. She's really excited already. Who did you celebrate Easter with last year? Uh, with my husband's family um, and that's what we're doing again this year so we go around to um, my parents-in-law house and we have a roast dinner my daughter's cousins come over and they do an easter egg hunt which my father-in-law sets up and that, I think that's the thing that she loves most about easter so they run around the house they find lots of chocolate eggs and they just just has a great time playing with her cousins and it's a really nice family day for us what would be your perfect easter egg my perfect easter egg well i think it would be something quite simple high quality milk chocolate easter egg simple plain um, i'm not a huge chocolate fan so i wouldn't want too much so something small and moderate that's me thank you for stopping by to see us miss have a lovely easter you too here's maria singing sweet like chocolate Thanks, Maria. That was so sweet. Next, we have a person with a real spring in their step, Mr. Agafana. Who do you tend to celebrate Easter with? Well, I tend to celebrate Easter with the family and friends. My wife, uh, my wife's friends, my friends. Uh, we go out and uh, whether it's church and we just have a good time together. What are your plans for Easter this year? Being a Christian holiday, we have tradition, the Easter traditions that are practiced either looking at it from the point of the church and as a family, coming together as a family, brother, sister, wife, as I've already mentioned, and then uh, friends just celebrating together, going to church, singing, reflecting, on the reason for Easter, which is Jesus Christ, focusing on that. That's how I'll be celebrating my Easter. What is your favourite aspect about spring and this time of the year? My favourite aspect of spring is the symbolism of spring. It symbolises fresh beginnings, new start. And as I always like to remind myself, my background, which is East Africa, mostly is in the tropics. Where I come from is this tropics, so we don't experience extreme changes of the weather uh, patterns as we do it here. And so for me, I look at the weather patterns as a metaphor and looking at either changing from winter to spring to summer to autumn, I look at it as just representative of what life is. You find sometimes we go through the colds, we go through the warms and all. So spring to me is that, to present that change from winter as you prepare for summer and I think as you can see my body I'm really working out so that I get in better shape so I think it's the same thing isn't it you, you understand what I mean just that symbolism that's what I love most about spring well thank you sir for joining us well I've been Marcus and I've been Riley thank you for tuning into our Easter radio show have a happy happy Easter oh happy Easter bunny Shake your tail, ho!